Oh yeah, we start uh we start today with the uh the UEFA Super Cup. All right, PSC, who, 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 who you got? Okay, uh, Ugarte. You think we just go for this? I have Jude Belly of Achilles. I freaking thought I was done with these guys when I left Saint at the end, but no. Premier League dragging us back into this hell. We're going to need to... They're better than us. They are just plain and simple a better team than we are, and we are going to need to be very responsible about that. Welcome to the UEFA Super Cup between Tottenham Hotspur and Paris Saint-Germain. We started with no playing experience or coaching badges, and we have a battle. This is, we're going to our eighth season as a manager, and we are going into our first full season managing Tottenham. We took over halfway through last season. And may I say we are doing a wonderful job of possessing the ball and keeping PSG from doing anything. Oh, we, uh, I'm sorry. Should have been my... No, you are joking. He didn't even do anything. He just ran into me and fell over. That's a ridiculous call. This is less than ideal. Absolutely nothing happened in the entire first half, and then they just get a penalty out of literally nowhere. Oh, come on. Are you freaking serious, dude? There's three highlights in the whole game. They've got a BS pen in this just gargantuan deflection out of a crowd of players. <laughs> Can I get one highlight in this game? All right, we've actually been in a very aggressive tactic for some time now, and all it is is just set pieces. <laughs> Score one actual goal. I'm begging you. Just one actual goal. Free kick through the wall. Is this a joke? Penalty, monster deflection in a crowd. Free kick through the wall. That's the best chance either team's had in the whole dang game. Right there. Yeah, nobody cares. It's a fake trophy. Nobody cares. It's a fake trophy. It's no South America European Club Challenge. That's what I'll say. That trophy's a real trophy. That trophy that we won, that's the real trophy. Yeah. Okay, we have signed Fabian Paulstrom Andas, the 17-year-old from Norway that debuted for the national team, and I vacuumed him up like I was part of an infomercial. Get your butt in here. What, what do you mean? What do you mean? What do you... We are rich. What do you mean? What do you mean? Stop being the meme of yourself for just a second, Daniel Levy. What do you mean? We agree we're looking good and will therefore prove to be 100%. I swear if it goes from 70 to 75. <laughs> Why not just go to 100? Why go to 85? Because of debt. I don't care about the debt. All right? It's not, you know, they're not going to call in the other 700 million of the debt right away. All right, we, uh, we have 300 million in the bank, 700 million in total debt. All right, Kulazevsky, we will get 82 million from his sale. They both hit at literally the same time. We're about to sell 30 year old legendary attacking midfielder Dejan Kulazevsky for 100 million to Newcastle. Purchased for $32 million from Juventus. Have a great time at Newcastle, doing whatever you do at Newcastle. And then on the other side, there is German star winger, George the Hammer. Now look, okay, people, we, we, when we first looked this guy up, you go to Google Translate. That's how you do it. And then you mute the music, and then you hit this button. Dance Chikichi. Dance Chikichi. Jed Shikichi. Jed Shikichi. Jed Shikichi. So that's how we solve that riddle. We're signing George Shikichi. 102 million. We're swapping Dayan Kulazevsky for George Shikichi. 
Easy cookies. So the only guy left that we would want to move is old Pape Matar Sar. That is the only guy left on our team that we're like, hey, he could leave and I wouldn't be sad about it. But he really, 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 really does not want to leave. He's not that bad. Yeah, but he's getting paid $16 million a year. And uh, I know. I took them out. You watched me take them out. If the match has already started, you can't do that. You watched me take them out of the team. Why did they play? Why did they play? I took them out. Uh, that's most of a team that's not tired because apparently our U21 season is more important than our senior season. Awesome, fun. Okay, so Vicario, Coyote, Rosales, Vandevin, Doy, Gamara, Eberts, Indrik, Constantelius, Zirkechi, and Nicholas Audrin because everybody else played at the U21 match. Well, did we at least win? Yeah, we won 5-1 because my first team was playing. I'm going to give Chikichi the number 10. He, you know, we paid $100 million for him. He should be able to be that dude. Let's see how he plays. The debut of Jerk Chikichi, and he absolutely needs to hard carry for us. Oh, nice pass. Gamara slips it through. It's Hendrick. How did we not score on that play? I don't even know what happened. And it's Hendrick, and it's Rosales. What a save, dude. Where's the goal going to come from? Van, surely that. This match is not fun. I, I, uh, oh, it wasn't even offside on the goal. It was offside because his free kick literally hit a dude on our team standing in front of the goal. Please score this. Thank you, Hendrick. Oh, my goodness. Scored a goal. I just did the wrong shout. Instead of praise, I opened it to do praise and then did encourage by reflex. But we scored anyways. So maybe I should do that more. It's Josh Doig. Karsten Eberts. Oh, it's Chikichi. Oh, the first time ball. Back to Chikichi. Oh, it's Nicholas Aldrin. Nice, Mickey. Chikichi. He's got Aldrin. Oh, baby. Nicholas Aldrin. We're just grooving, you know, Regevich, Audrin could have biked that in for a hat trick, but you know, didn't want to show off. Coyote. Oh, there it is. He knew he was going to get it anyways. Nicholas Audrin with a hat trick. Current starting strikers, Indrik, who's looked a lot like him on one wing and Churchy or Chikichi on the other has been really dangerous. Wow. Is this a pen? Screw it. Let's get four goals for Audrin. Where is he? Nicholas Audrin, deep breath in, smashed it. What a win. Good a win as you're likely to see. Nicholas Audrin, player of the match with four goals for Tottenham Hotspur. And on goal difference, we top the league going into our match with Man City. There's also Mujahid Kaya. There's Simone Scotta. That dude's worth that dude's worth the 31 million. If they are actually moving him, that dude's 100% worth the 31 million. And I think we're not the only team that knows that. Nice is in the neighborhood. See, we can sign this guy for 31 million. He's 20 years old. He'd take a huge pay cut. We wouldn't even have to register him for the league. Oh, it's a release clause. Oh, I'm so there. 30 million for Simone Scotta. I am so there. Wait, is he loan listed again? Surely not. Oh, they want him to be tested in a different environment. Whatever. Whatever. Aneko Romo. That'll do. Who's this? Oh, this is a uh, Newcastle. Don't make me pay his whole wage. Twenty percent for squad player with an optional future fee. I'll never play, but they put in the contract. Oh, I'm just robbing. I'm robbing. Not I'm. I'm robbing Newcastle blind. I am robbing them absolutely blind. Ineco Romo, Spanish fringe national team player, 
unbelievably intelligent playmaker type skill set, but also the athleticism to push that tempo on the wing, be an impact player. And we're getting him for 20% of his wage and an optional future fee of 163 million that they included. Look at that. His full wage impact is 7.42 million. That is less than half of what Santiago Jimenez's wage impact is. This is such a ridiculous loan signing that we're getting a Neko, Ro a Neko Romo. I, I mean, I can't believe that we just managed to do that. Oh, hello, Manchester City. How are you guys doing? You come here often? One of the three teams that finished ahead of us last season. Let's see if we can actually manage to get a good result against them away. Aneko Romo gets the number 17, the lone winger from Newcastle as he appears on the bench for the first time. We took over in December when the team was in 11th. We played our way up into fourth. We won the Europa League. We had a really successful half season. Now we've had a full off season to kind of unload some of the heftier contracts on the team and get some new blood in. And we have done that. Turn the ball over going up the field and life will be fine. Constantelius, Endrick, God, with the layoff to Nart, like to no one. Oh no, oh, oh no. I don't think there's anything in the medicine cabinet for stopping that one. Play it short. That's not in his DNA. He's going for it. An amazing hit, but it's still never going in. Created absolutely nothing in an incredibly aggressive tactic for the last 30 minutes. I went to Blockbuster and asked if I could rent Batman forever. They said, no, you need to bring it back next Tuesday. Fair play. That was a pretty limp performance from our offense. Defensively, we got opened up, obviously, by those. Uh, the first goal was just an amazing individual effort, which we got exactly zero of those in this match. And the second goal was we got countered. I wasn't really worried tactically. They didn't open us up that much. You'll give me a ball-winning midfielder scouting report. Oh, yes! He's not perfect, but he's what I hoped we would find. Oh, he's adaptability is terrible. He's injury prone, but we there, there are Brazilians around here somewhere. He'll be fine. 20 and a half million to get him from Santos. Yes, please. So Santiago Jimenez and Pape Matasar, we are clear that if we can remove those two guys, we could also go get Ivan Alves and finish up what is, in my opinion, a wonderful transfer window. All right, Simone Scotta, a talented Italian from Fiorentina. He will be joining the team. Wonderfully technical. Good athlete. Got good size and speed. Has some very advantageous mental attributes as well. Also requires zero registration for the league. We're very excited about that. 30 million, absolute chump change at the level we're at as a club right now for a guy that is worth at least twice that amount of money. Oh, our draw for the Champions League? It's not that bad. Antwerp. We start Sociedad Barcelona, then Benfica and Stade Rene, Ajax Milan, United Antwerp away to end it. Now offers for Jimenez. His wage demands are in excess of what they're willing to pay. Yeah. Obviously, uh, Santiago Jimenez, we are also going to lower his playing time expectation as he has been placed on uh, the transfer list. I can't give you any searches of your future at the club. I'm prepared to take my chances. I'm sure you are, Santi, because you're getting paid $17 million a year. And we're getting, dude, what? League Cup draw. Somehow we got a match between Brentford and West Ham. We got two Premier League teams that could be our League Cup opponent. Not just one, two! Liverpool boss on Tottenham rivalry. I think we just have a rivalry with everybody, dude. I'm going to be honest. So Marcelo Enrique 
will be joining the club for 20 million as an impact sub defensive midfielder. We desperately needed another in, uh, defensive midfielder to join this team to help us get through this season. We're very, very excited with this deal. I'm very, very excited with that deal. That is tremendous work by our scouting department. High fives all around. Oh, Elvis, Elvis is getting upset, dude. He's getting, we've upset multiple former players. He wants to go to Tottenham. He knows Tottenham's interested. And they've probably just gone, well, you have a release clause. And we're just waiting for that to be met. Okay. Dude, we have a freaking match. I don't want to play right now, man. I don't want to play right now. There we go. Now we have a team that's starting to look a little bit like a team, you know? We've got Phillips, Coyote, Doig, Marcelo Enrique, Regovic, Romo, Moore, Simone Escoda, guys that we like. Oh, Constantelius is not involved. Oh, okay. <sighs> Liverpool at home. I'm expecting good results here. Marcelo Enrique gets 28. Simone Escoda gets 21. We'll see how Escoda is able to battle for first team position. Let's go, boys. Let's go. Let's freaking go. Brazilian Fury, thank you for the gifted sub. Show him the two-step. Javi Guerra looking for Chigo Chigichi. We are kind of bossing them right now, though. We look uh, confident. Eves, Audrin, it's Seca. He's surely off, though. Yep. Couldn't quite put that together, but, you know, we get a, a nice warm-up celebration for the actual goal celebration we'll get later. So that's good. Oh, yeah, that's my ball. K.O. Day, big time play. Love me some Michael K.O. Day. All right. There you go. Chagichi. Chagichi. Oh, it's to Romo. How? Oh, that has to go in the net. It got through the crowd. Great ball. Takes the touch. Romo just flying off his line. Gets big and makes the save. That mm. good press. Great Oh, that's why was that so perfect? What a save by Vicario. Come on, an echo Romo. Oh, let it go. You both of you guys went for it. All right, play it quick. Yes, an echo Romo. Good spot. KO day. Check. Oh, Mike, he missed it. Oh, he missed it by a mile. That's a tough nil nil. That's a tough nil nil. That should have been a win. wants money how dare he oh i am bullying this guy so hard wow i was way too confident in that 9.1 wage impact of 11 million okay zealand why am i doing that now i know you guys are all really excited that i'm doing it but you're like why zealand would you be doing that at this particular moment right now because his release clause expires tomorrow which is a day you know, like before our deadline day. So we have to get the offer in and assume that we're going to be able to make it work. I can change it to a transfer offer. I did not know you could do that. That is like actually amazing. All right, we are actually able to delay the transfer. So we'll delay it. Come on, guys. Why did I play Star on the Lone List? Because I don't want him here. What do you mean? We've had this conversation 8 million times, dude. If you want to get rid of me, say it to my face. I have said that to your face conservatively 223 different times. I like Audrin. I will send him out on loan for a year. No offers for Vucevic. We got loan. Oh, there you go. Premier League. No. Fu I don't want future fees. Future fee upon relegation from the prim. What a night mandatory optional future fee. No. Those are removed. I just want him to play. Are we cool with that? Oh, that's so busted. I can't ask for the confirmation again, so I can't go and ask the board for help. Why is it not there? I mean, it's the same reason that it's not there when you go to transfer status and you ask for confirmation. I'm sure it's the exact same reason that that's also not there. That would be why it's not there. Because it thinks we don't have the money, but what I want to do 
is go to the board and be like, hey, we have this deal done for this really great player. We would love to have him on the team. You know, let me know what you're thinking. It is amazing to me that nobody has, uh, like, we, we have been trying to get rid of this guy since January. And it is amazing to me that at no point have we been able to get a reasonable offer. We found a hole in the game. There's just a, a feature in the game that uh, did not exist as far as we could tell. Uh, where we did not, once we had delayed it initially, have the ability to go back and ask the board for help in the transfer. That sucked, though. We were two players departing away from a perfect window. We got rid of a lot of guys that we wanted to get rid of. Um, we got rid of a lot of guys we wanted to get rid of. We were two players leaving away from a perfect window. Uh, oh, window summary. That's what I was thinking. Okay, so we signed uh, a couple guys. Marcelo Enrique, very big um, athletic defensive midfielder for just $20 million. I really like the signing. We needed another defensive midfielder to join our team. So this is a very good acquisition for $20 million. Uh, $30 million for striker Simone Scotta, the 20-year-old who's fringe Italian national team already. He was available for a release clause that was just way too low for us to ignore. Um, we managed to pick him up. Good size, decent athlete. Love a good, well-rounded striker at a world-class level. We loaned in winger Aneko Romo from uh, Newcastle, one of those players that didn't quite fit into their team and they wanted to get him playing time. But he is definitely a really, really, really good player. We signed, of course, George Cechici, who is an explosive superstar winger for the German national team for $102 million. That was a release clause. We beat out Bayern for his signature. $50 million for attacking midfielder Jenny's Rajevic of Bosnia and Herzegovina. Tremendous distributor of the ball. Needs to work on his ball control, but also a good athlete. Fits in with Mastantuano and Gamera in that part of the field. Center back Francisco Rosales is our starting right center back right now. Um, he came in for 17 million from the Saudi league, Mexican national team starter. And then Murphy Matumbo was a free signing that we loaned out because he looked good. As for the sales, we sold Dayan Kulazewski to Newcastle for a hundred million. I'm assuming we will be seeing him right about now as we're about to play Newcastle. Uh, but yeah, it was a $100 million sale. They are paying him an absolutely absurd wage until 2034, which is hilarious. Um, we sold Lee Kong in, who was getting paid a ton of money for $52 million to Aston Villa. Uh, we sold Jonathan David to Villa as well for $42 million because he was getting paid a lot and wasn't a part of our team. We sold Christian Romero for $40 million to al Ediad to dump his wage, and that's fair because he's getting paid like more than a million a week to go play in Saudi Arabia, which seems sick. Samuel Ritchie was loaned out last year. They completed the transfer. We also sold two youth players, Herbie James and Eddie Carlo, for 17 and a half and 15 million. First team loan moves, we loaned out Hakan Arner Haraldson. If he plays 15 matches this year, uh, they owe us 92 million, which is awesome. That means we'll have a huge war chest in January. He's already played three matches. Um... Nicholas Audrin was obviously loaned out. That whole happened while you were probably here. We would have loved to have kept him around, but he gets a chance to go play in the Premier League as a starting striker and hopefully come back not nearly as mad at us, which would be ideal. Good window overall. We dumped a lot of the guys that had huge contracts that we wanted to get rid of. Kulazevsky was running down his contract to the end of the year. We were able to uh, find a solution where we got $100 million and swapped them out for a 22-year-old Germany starter. Uh, okay get a good win today let's get a good win today let's get a good win today we lost away to city we drew at home against liverpool and we lost the uefa super cup to psg those are the bad results on our side hopefully that means the easier matches are sprinkled in between all those champions league ties and then we've got sociedad to start our champions league quest hopefully with a dub Guerra, back for eves Oh, get in, sign that hit, Indrick. Doomba to the Lightning. Yeah, I heard. What position does he play? My lack of uh, ice knowledge. Oh, wow. Cook. Javi Guerra, 2 0. 
Our defense has been suspect this season. No! Oh, it's a party at Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. It's Harvey Guerra with his second goal in four minutes. Oh, get him off, get him off. God, what are you doing, man? He's worth a hundred million. Goodness gracious me. Get him off the field. They've lost their head. I actually did forget we were up a man too. It's like, we gotta make sure they don't, you know, start a comeback on us. Like, nope, Indrik, oh, still Indrik, oh, it's four. Two goals for Indrik as he takes to his new spot on the right wing. Oh, I used to be able to dunk. That was uh, a, ba a, 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 a basketball. Those days are gone now. Oh, let's go, Santi Jimenez. All the people on the transfer market will see is that he scored a Premier League goal. That's all they will see. Now there's actually, I don't know why I'm bringing this up because it's a really goofy looking video. Let me see if I can find it. There's a video of me dunking on the internet. Without further ado, Zealand dunking a basketball. It has no sound. What a shame. Oh, get it, son! Oh, in the face! Oh, it's a poster, baby! Oh! Uh, nice work, everyone. That was good. Hell yeah, brother. Champions League, anybody? A Champions League night? Uh, Lewis is going to get the start. I honestly think we do that. I think we start the exact same team. We were able to rest so well after the first match. What's up, Sociedad? You ever seen anything as beautiful as the new Tottenham Hotspur Stadium that we paid a billion dollars for? You ever seen anything like that? Oh, Seca. Seca. Oh, it's Guerra! Oh, that's brilliant. Javi Guerra has scored again. His third goal in four days. And this was so composed from Tottenham Hotspur. Bellamino Seca given space and time. It's a lovely find and Guerra wasted no time. Absolutely barreling back. Eves Basuma. Mickey. Oh, he's found Guerra again! It's Harvey Guerra with another brace. What a start to the season for Harvey Guerra. Oh, let's go, Hendrick. Harvey Guerra. Scott, uh, dude, how is he doing everything wrong? It's like impressive at this point. The entire other side of the field was open. He just had to keep the ball moving that way and we would have scored easily. Hendrick, that is disgusting. <laughs> Little Orion Robin, Hendrick play. He has eight goals already in all comps this season. Let's not give up a goal here. Let's get Marcelo Enrique in. Last 10 minutes have a real good defensive player out there. Shikichi and Seca. Now that you pointed out the mad sharpness, it bothers me. I want them to get the legs going. Full 90. Seca. Shikichi. George Shikichi. Oh, look at that one, too. From George Shikichi. Oh, a beautiful first goal for Tottenham Hotspur. That is brilliant from George Chikichi. The way he runs with the ball is so beautiful. I agree. We're talking about a man that literally has 20 agility and 17 dribbling. He is really, really good at changing directions and uh, carving people up with the ball. That is a wonderful 4-0 win to start our Champions League campaign. Goal difference can be very important. Our goal is top eight. Our goal is very clearly top eight. So let's go get top eight.